Hey guys, this is uh, Chris Frossin and uh, I am very, very proud owner now of a new film SLR, well not new, old, vintage, vintage film SLR camera. Uh, this is for the film versus digital challenge that I'm having with uh, a friend, Ryan Connors, who um, I know from the fronosphoto.com uh, forum. Uh, been conversing with her for a while and uh, we decided to challenge ourselves to a digital versus film um, a bit of a challenge so we've made that up uh, we've decided what we're going to do and that will be coming in a, a future video but until uh, now I haven't owned well I haven't uh, owned recently uh, a film SLR camera um, my first camera uh, which was uh, given to me by my granddad was uh, a Pentax ME Super. Uh, I sold that and traded it in uh, to get my Neon Icon D3100 and upgraded that one to the D90, which is now recording this video with a 35mm to 70mm. And um, I've just purchased or won on uh, a famous auction website my new Nikon, Nikomat. Uh, FTN film camera. Uh, it's got the F mount adapter from the well, F mount cover from the uh, D99 at the moment. But uh, this is what I've uh, this is what I won, and we're just going to give you a quick walk around uh, of this camera, and um, yeah, just show you around it because it's a really really smart piece of mechanical engineering. There's no there's not a lot of electrics on it. Uh, it is missing a battery cover, so I'm going to get hold of one of those. Um, but that's purely for the through the lens TTL, excuse me, TTL metering. Um, so I didn't need to get hold of one of those. Uh, but this is the one that came before the was it the EL? Um, I think it was the EL which had the electronic shutter. This one's got a mechanical shutter. Um, and what we're going to do is going to have a quick walk around. So straight away, uh, we've got the Nikomat at the top. Uh, on the front, we've got the uh, self timer so we can take that around there uh, if we just wind it on so we can uh, uh, set the self timer there press the shutter timer will go round and then when it gets to the top opens the shutter and it exposes the film uh, we've then got around the bottom here this is our uh, shutter speed uh, and that's indicated in two places it's indicated up here as you're spinning it, we've got a, a little black dot here which is going to tell you which one you've got selected. And then also, when you're looking through the lens, I'll try and get a, a picture through the lens, but when you're looking through the lens, um, you've got the shutter speed that just glides across the bottom of the viewfinder, which is amazing. Uh, it's a really, really kind of cool mechanical thing. Uh, we've also got, and I believe, well I'm going to have a guess, I believe this part here, um, selects the aperture or tells the camera mechanically what aperture uh, you have set uh, because the old lenses that fit in here have a little dog um, or a little shoe that fits across here and then as you're changing the aperture on the lens uh, this changes the aperture here as well um, to the camera and I'm guessing that will affect the metering. I'm going to have a look on the internet for that. Uh, we've got the mirror lock up here as well so we can lock the mirror up. It's a little option there. That's the uh, lens release key and if we go up to the top uh, obviously we've got the wind on we've got the shutter release uh, and the film uh, loading uh, button here um, and then to get into the back pull down here and that will open up the back door and we can then we just pull this up here we can then load in my film here slide it across pop it into that and then wind it on uh, so that we've got the exposure here. Really nicely built. Um, and obviously one of the beautiful things about the Nikon system uh, is because uh, they had the F-mount, excuse me, the F-mount lens mounting from pretty much day one. So this is day one and we've also got here, this is my 50mm 1.8 uh, which I've been using on the uh, uh, D90 here. This is the AFD version, so if we just slide off the lens cap here, you'll see 2000 and 2004, something like that, 1972. Select it up, click it in, and there we have 
a 50mm 1.8 um, on this camera. Uh, fantastic little thing. And you've got, when you're looking through, you've obviously got the shutter speed down at the bottom. That's going to be effective uh, when you do change this shutter speed down here. So you can see the uh, you can see the numbers moving, and then on the right hand side over here, there's just a little needle that hovers up and down uh, with a plus and a minus sign above and below it. And uh, obviously, when it gets to the centre, dink, then you are accurately exposed. You've got all the settings right, and you can take your shot. Uh, I'm really looking forward to taking a few shots with this. Um, the film that I have ordered, I had a bit of a discussion and. I'm not very good at making a decision on stuff like this, but the film that I eventually went for is some Ektar 100 Kodak. And I thought it was a bit of a homage to uh, the Kodak, obviously going out of business, so I thought I'd buy some uh, old Kodak film. Uh, Ektar 100 colour negative film, uh, which will be pretty much, um, I think that will be pretty perfect for this. Um, I did try to get hold of some expired film as well but uh, that's that will be for another time I think I've got three rolls of this so I'm going to use one of them for a quick test to see what comes out and then I'll probably use the second one for the photo uh, challenge that we're going to have more details of that to come um, but pretty much that is that is my video this is a quick walk around of my new Nikomat Nikon FPN camera the only downside to this, uh, I was so excited about getting this that I'm now browsing around eBay looking for um, all the old original lenses which do have this um, this little hook, uh, the little bit here which will go inside with that and make this work as well. So I'm looking around that and I've also found one of these which is in imma absolutely immaculate condition, frustratingly from America, so I might have to pay some shipping. Um, but I'm really tempted to get hold of that one as well and then I'm also keeping an eye out for the very very first uh, SLR that Nikon did the uh, F-series um, which you will see if you um, pop onto my website so if you pop onto the blog page which is cf-photographs.blogspot.com I'll put the link uh, down in the bottom of this video uh, so if you pop on there as well we'll see some photos of the Nikon F-series which I'm trying to uh, there's, there's quite a few that seem to pop up on uh, on eBay, so I'm keeping an eye out and hoping to get one at a reasonably cheap price. Um, but until then, we've got a 50mm 1.8 to try on it. I've got the 35 to 70, which is on the D90, and I've also got, in desperate need of a new camera bag, this is far too small for me, uh, a Sigma 70, 70 to 300. Uh, so be quite interesting to try that as well and see how that comes out and see what the quality is like on the film for that. And so there we go. That's the video for the moment. Thank you very much guys and hopefully see you again. Uh, I will put this up on my blog page as a walk around um, and hopefully you enjoyed it and if you do have access to a film camera get it out, dig it out of the loft, dig it out of the drawer and you can join in the film challenge as well. Um, if you haven't have a look on eBay, you can pick them up reasonably cheaply, this one's reliable, uh, it's uh, got um, uh, a title of being one of the most reliable and most hard wearing uh, of cameras of its age, um, so I'm quite pleased that I, bought, that I did pick this one up, uh, I found that one out after I, after I bought it, um, <coughs> so yeah, I'm going to give it a quick clean, um, and then we shall uh, catch you later, thank you very much guys, cheers!